Hi, and welcome to the InfoMedia training video on how to log into WordPress. I'm Carrie Rollwagon. I'm Communications Director here at InfoMedia, and I'm going to be walking you through the training today. All right, so let's jump in. I'm going to share my screen here. Okay, now we're looking at the front end of our WordPress website. Um, this is just a training site, so it's not the greatest looking site ever, but you'll get the idea. Okay, so what you want to do is to log in, just type your website address in the URL bar up here. So if, you if you're still in development, you'll have a development site or a dev site. That's what we have right here, dev.com is has how you know it's a dev site. Now if your site has already launched and it's public, other people, your customers and your clients can view it, then you'll just have your normal .com. Either way, um, if your site is launched, just type in your URL, type in your main.com, and if your site hasn't, type in your dev site. Either way, everything else works exactly the same way. So you want to type in backslash WP hyphen admin, and then hit enter. And this brings up your login screen. Now, as far as your dev site and your main site, they look exactly the same, but once your site has launched, Never log into your dev site again. After you launch, you're only going to have your live site. Okay, so right here we're looking at the username and password area. First, you can type in your username. This is case sensitive, so be sure to use a capital letter if your uh, username includes a capital letter. Both fields are case sensitive. And then we type in our password. Well, before we move on, I want you to look down here to where it says lost your password. If you can't find your password, that's totally fine. Click you lost your password and it'll send a link to whatever email you have associated with this account. Now, when you click on that link, you're gonna come back to a page that looks a lot like this one, except down here, it's gonna say something about setting a new password. In that case, you'll just type the password you want to use in the password field and that'll be your new password moving forward. But right now, we know our password, so I'm just going to, I, think, I hope I know my password. <laughs> I'm just gonna type it in right here. Oops, wrong one. You'll get this message if it's wrong. And then you also get another lost or password field, but okay, I got it this time. Okay, what you're looking at right here is the back end of your site. It's called the back end. It's also called the admin side. So when we use those terms, we use them interchangeably. You'll notice there's a black bar on the left here. This is a menu. You can navigate through and find almost anything you need to know on the back end of your site using this left hand bar. There's also this admin bar at the top of your screen, and that helps you toggle back and forth between the back end of your site and the front end of your site, which is what the customer or the client is gonna see. So let's do that really quickly now. All right, so let's say you wanna see the front end of your site. You just go up here to the top left and find this little picture of the house. Now ours says learning on the training today, but that's just because that's the name of our website. Yours will say something different, but that's okay. Just click on the little house, and now we see the front end of our site. Now on this side, you can click around, you can do anything that your customers you could do, could do. you could um, just explore, and as long as you're still logged in, then you're still gonna see this black admin bar at the top of the page. That helps you toggle back and forth between the front and the back end of your site. All right, so if you wanna go to the back end of your site again, again, you go to the top left of the page, and now instead of a little house, you'll see a little picture of a dashboard. So you click that and you go back to your dashboard. So you can toggle back and forth between the front and back end of your site that way. Now, if you wanna close this down, you can just close it down. Or if you wanna log out, you just go to the top right over here, right, right of your screen, click the little uh, person silhouette, and then go to log out. And then we're logged out. All right, so thanks for joining us on how to log into WordPress. Um, if you want to learn how to add a page, how to add a post, how to, add, to use photos or anything else with the WordPress basics, um, just let us know and we'll get you that video. If you have for the further questions, you can contact us at support at infomedia.com or at 205-823-4440. Thanks so much for joining me today and I hope you enjoy using WordPress.